Hey everyone and welcome to Boss Advisory. Today we're going to talk about why do the rich keep getting richer? The right thinking leads to wealth. Some think being rich is impossible. Rich people have different money beliefs than poor people. Why do the rich get richer while the poor get poorer? Why do the rich get richer while the poor don't? When they obtain a large sum of money, like a tax refund, it's spent on a new TV or a vacation, presuming fundamental necessities are met. Rich and poor individuals think about money differently. Let's find out why the wealthiest get richer and the middle class never escapes mediocrity. Rich people learn about money. Poor people remain so because they don't want to learn how to use money to improve their life. They're terrified of money. Some people don't use financial literacy reading material. The internet or YouTube to their advantage. I don't care about money is a typical poor expression. Money affects where you live. What you do during the day, what you drive, what you do for leisure, where your vacation, and what you eat. Imagine your existence if you have an unlimited amount of money. People think about money more than they realize. Learn how to use money to better your life. They leverage debt. Most people view debt as a monthly expense. Debt is overused. It's easy to make impulsive, unaffordable purchases. New automobile is nice. Sign on the dotted line and drive. Poor people perceive credit as a method to rapidly have what they want without having to earn the money first. They believe debt costs money. Rich individuals exploit debt, usually through buying income-generating assets. They may use a mortgage to buy a long-term rental property, or they get a low-interest loan to buy a new car. The money might be utilized to build a firm, invest, or produce new revenue. Rich people only utilize debt to buy things they can afford or that they will earn money. They make investing a priority. Poor individuals don't build riches because they don't work. Poor individuals make reasons for why they can't succeed. All can get wealthy. Those who declare they can't are often afraid to fail and don't want to try. Rich individuals sacrifice and invest first. If they want to buy a new car, they'll buy or build passive income generating assets to pay for it. Rather than working hard, this income boost could come from stocks, real estate, or a business. Buying this way takes longer. Poor folks should buy a car with passive income and work harder to pay it off in 5 or 10 years. They're no better off than before. The rich focus on long-term profits. Poor people rarely invest. Money could be returned months or years later, which is too lengthy. They won't need money down the road, right? They focus short-term and prefer to spend money now. Rich folks plan long-term and know they'll likely see a return on their investments. No one likes to wait years to invest, but profitable investments yield exponential returns. By delaying the purchase of a $40,000 car and investing the money, you can buy a $400,000 car. Balance is key in life. You want money to spend today and to save and build for the future. Long-term vision helps the rich earn riches for years, while the poor build many income sources. Create multiple income sources. Poor people most likely only have one income source and don't realize they need more. If they take a sick day or go on vacation, they lose all of their revenue. School always encouraged work. 
They'll pay the bills, but they never recommend diversifying any methods to get paid. Most rich individuals have many income streams and money comes in various ways, whether they're working or taking a few weeks off. Even if one income source diminishes, it won't face them since they know it's likely to happen at some point. How else do they make money? These additional revenue resources may include a side company, book, music, or podcast royalties. The rich seek for more opportunities. Rich individuals always want more money. They know opportunity might emerge at any time. The rich are always ready to jump on a stock market meltdown and earn large profits by buying equities at a discount. They're ready with deployable capital. This isn't a poor middle class. Middle class people avoid opportunities like these and sell their stocks to the rich at low price. If they have their own stock, people over leverage their homes by borrowing the most. When interrupted, their sole income source. They must return it to the bank, which will sell it to a wealthy investor. These are examples of direct wealth transfer from the rich board due to financial inadequacy. Rich people recognize opportunities and seize them. They are committed to success. Poor middle class people are comfortable with their lives and aren't willing to charge. They watch TV and use social media while the rich work extra hours, study, and improve. Sure, they want wealth as well. When they discover how much time and work it takes, they conclude it's not worth it. Rich people will do almost everything to achieve even if they fail. They'll keep trying since they know anyone with huge success has failed many times. Rich people know money can improve life. Therefore, they strive for it. Being poor and getting affluent are both difficult. So choose one. You may struggle to pay payments, living paycheck to paycheck, and hope to avoid eviction. You might also worry about rich people's problems. If they invest doubles, they'll be financially secured. You remember these wealthy habits so you can succeed. Following in their footsteps will make you prosperous while others grow poorer. Thank you guys so much for watching Boss Advisory. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and hit the bell so you get notified on every new incredible content we make for you. Have a wonderful day and see you on the next one.